We are using the bacteria that can eat up organic matter to produce biobutanol. Well, butanol is a four carbon molecule, alcohol. Ethanol is two carbon. Uh, and so we have more energy per molecule than we do with ethanol. I told a bunch of fellows at a breakfast club that I could make fuel out of grass clippings. And they all said ethanol, I said no, butanol. It had no name recognition as a alternative fuel until I put it in my family car, the 92 Buick, and went across country. It's a drop-in replacement for gasoline. I don't have to make any, any modifications to my car. Had it tested in 10 states by the EPA, uh, their jaws just absolutely dropped because it's so pure as far as the emissions go. We came back and it took another two years to get uh, people interested. We found Dr. Yang at Ohio State and uh, worked on it in his lab, perfecting the process, my patent with his reactor. We developed this technology at Ohio State University. We have been working on this for about 10 years, trying to develop a process to produce biobutanol economically so it can be used for not only for chemical solvent, but also for biofuel. By getting involved with the Ohio State University, it really uh, saved the day. We were able to hire a couple of students during that period of time under the grants. The gasoline price went up as high as 450 a gallon. Now that the oil crisis is on, we see a need for other alternative fuels. People have been making ethanol, but ethanol has many limitations. My process can get 42% more energy from the same bushel of corn. We not only produce a higher grade alcohol from that corn, but we also produce hydrogen and carbon dioxide, and we can turn those into more butanol. You know, it will be sustainable. So that's very exciting, you know, to see the biotechnology, biobutanol is coming back using renewable resources to produce the biofuel. It's going to take quite a few years to get it into the pipeline. But the sooner we do that, the better off we are. So by working with a company like Beautyfield, we know it's going to benefit the whole society.